Hello Divine Souls, welcome to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope you're safe and doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Hey y'all. So I was hearing the song, He's Mine. It's a real old ass song. It's from a lady named Mokin Steph, 1995. Okay, I'm talking about way back when. Somebody could have been born in 1995, but I'm going to pin the song in the description box. So in some of the lyrics, it says, He's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. He might be doing you, but he's thinking about me. Went on a date. Took you to a room. You gave it up too soon. Played you like a trick because you let him hit. Okay? Wow. So that's definitely karmic vibes. I don't know why I'm getting a workplace affair, friends with benefits. Hell, this person could be somebody that you know. So after this karmic slept with the Divine Masculine, her ass got hooked, okay? So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see what's going on with this karmic. How does she feel about the Divine Masculine? Overwhelmed, okay? It says swamped, inundated, and burdened. Yeah. Her ass is not happy in that situation. The Divine Masculine is giving her ass a run for the money. And her ass is just too busy wondering what the Divine Masculine is doing. She's up his ass 24-7. That's why her ass is feeling overwhelmed. Proud. Yeah, she's proud to be with the Divine Masculine. She feels like she won. She feels like she stole your Divine Masculine from you. So even though she's overwhelmed, she's ecstatic to be with the Divine Masculine is what I'm getting here. Happy. What did I tell you? She feels like she got one over on you, Divine Feminines. So she's happy, she's proud, but at the same time, she's overwhelmed. Crazy ass bitch. Yeah, hopeless. What did I tell you? This bitch got some kind of mental issues. She went from overwhelmed to happy, not hopeless. Yeah, that shit ain't working out. This is a one-sided connection. There's an imbalance here. The Divine Masculine is not happy. He's fed up. This relationship is falling apart as we speak. But for some of you, your divine masculine feels trapped in this situation. And I feel like it's due to finances. And for some of you, it's due to kids. Sad. What did I tell you? She's bipolar. Unhappy, joyless, and feeling rejected. Yeah. And at the bottom of the deck, you have jealous. She's jealous that your divine masculine still has feelings for you. Look, hateful. I told you guys, this bitch is definitely bipolar. She's also very possessive of the Divine Masculine. And she's also suspicious. She feels like the Divine Masculine is still contacting you. That you guys are still communicating with each other. Yup. Clarify overwhelmed. Why is the karmic overwhelmed? Oh my God. What did I tell you guys? The motherfucking tower. I told you this shit is falling apart. Look at, the, look at these cards, y'all. <laughs> Nothing but chaos, okay? Holy Spirit said um, her house is even fucking dirty, okay? This bitch don't clean up. She don't wash her ass, okay? Nasty ass hoe. But the tower is falling down on that connection if it hasn't already, yeah. That's why her ass is feeling overwhelmed. What's proud? Look, the Eight of Cups. Divine Masculine is gone. He said deuces to this bitch. This karmic is nothing but a snake. The only reason why she's proud is because she feels like she won. Yeah, that's a trophy cup. But the Divine Masculine is not trying to hear it. He's gone. Eight of cups. He walked away from that ass. What's happy? I feel like the happy is his energy. Oh my gosh. Seven of swords. I told you this bitch is a snake. Sneaky as fuck. She's nothing but a trickster, y'all. She was also cheating on the Divine Masculine. She's a master manipulator. And the reason why the happy card came out is because she thought things were going in her favor. But as you can see, you have the Tower and the Eight of Cups. That shit is no more. What's hopeless? The Knight of Pentacles. 
So it looks like she tries to offer the divine masculine in the world. But I feel like what used to work is not working anymore. He's not trying to hear it. As a matter of fact, this Seven of Swords is his ass sneaking away from that connection. That's why he's happy. I feel like this happy energy is really him. But what she used to do is not working anymore. And that's why the last card was sad. What's sad? Clarify sad. Yeah, it looks like the Divine Masculine walked away from this connection. There was a blow up. There was a fight with this tower. And now it looks like she's trying to get him back with this Knight of Pentacles. Trying to offer him some kind of money. She's trying to offer his ass something. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Look at this shit. Yeah, she's trying to offer him a reconciliation. Okay? But this shit came out in the reversed. The sun is in the reversed. He's rejecting that shit. The four of swords also came out in the reversed. Okay? He's not trying to hear that shit. The four of swords and the sun is all about a burnout, exhaustion, things not going your way, setbacks. Like I said, things that she was doing is not working anymore. He's over and done with the situation. Clarify sad. You have the star. Yeah, the divine masculine is her wish fulfillment, but he's not her wish fulfillment. You are. And that's why she's feeling sad because he's rejecting her ass. What else is going on, Holy Spirit? Yeah, he cut her ass off, Queen of Swords. What did I tell you? She also betrayed his ass, Ten of Swords. Wow, yeah. He's not happy in that connection. You have the Five of Cups. I also feel like that's her energy. Mourning the loss of the Divine Masculine. He's gone. What's this Ten of Swords? What was this betrayal? The Death card. Okay, so there's definitely an ending. That's also a major transformation and change taking place within your divine masculine. This star card is also his energy. Okay, he's seeing the light. He's gained clarity. And he's making his way back to you, divine feminines. He has cut all ties with this bitch. The death card and the queen of swords, it's a wrap, okay? The tower was the first card. That shit has crumbled to the ground. And he's not trying to hear it. You had a card that fell. Hold up. Yeah, you have the three of pentacles, but it was in the reverse. He doesn't want to work on this shit anymore. Yeah, a lot of arguing, fighting, and drama in that connection. He walked away, y'all. Eight of cups. He's gone. What is this karmic up to? The eight of pentacles. She wants to work on the situation. She's blowing his phone up. He's not answering. He's got his back turned, okay? He's found the strength and courage to walk away from that connection. Yeah, he's taking a leap of faith on himself. Okay, Yerai Masculine is making significant changes right now. The death card came out. All about transformation, releasing old habits, and starting over. Yeah, he's making his way to you, his two of cups. Yeah, he wants to be with you, Divine Feminines, the ten of cups. You make him happy. He's looking at things in a new light. You have the hangman. Yeah. Yeah, that shit was a burden. The Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords. Lies, cheating, deception, you name it. You are your divine masculine's wish fulfillment. And he's gained clarity on the situation. He's gained clarity on what your connection is. For some of you, your divine masculine is coming in with a proposal. What did I tell you? Divine union. But it's going to take patience and time. Yeah, he wants to move in with you. Ten of Pentacles. He wants stability and commitment now. Your divine masculine is wanting to settle down. He's been through a lot with this tower and the ten of swords. And he's coming in to make things official, divine feminines. What did I tell you? Yeah. The four of wands, the 11-11, twin flame. The nine of pentacles, he's single. He walked away from that situation. He's still holding on to you, Divine Feminines, with the Four of Pentacles. 
Yeah, it's a wrap with that karmic. What did I tell you? He's coming in with a proposal. Ace of Pentacles, all about new beginnings, a fresh start, stability, and commitment. Yeah. He knows what this connection is. Four of Wands, Two of Cups. How beautiful is that? All right, let's get some handwritten cards to see what the karmic is up to. What's going on with the karmic and the divine masculine right now? So expect a message, some kind of communication coming in from you, divine masculine. Because he's coming in with a proposal, okay? This is the marriage card. He wants commitment. If he is still dealing with this karmic, in which I feel like he's not, but for some of you he is, it's over with. It's nothing but chaos and drama. I gave him an ultimatum. Wow. I feel like she threatened the Divine Masculine. And I feel like what she said was, if he's still dealing with you, she's going to walk away. But that could be further from the damn truth. That bitch still going to hang around. Remember that song I was telling y'all, he's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. She ain't give his ass no damn ultimatum. The only thing that I can see, Divine Feminines, is that if your Divine Masculine is living with this bitch, she could have given him an ultimatum to move the fuck out if he don't get his shit together, if he don't start paying her any attention, because he damn sure is ghosting her ass. And see, your divine masculine don't have a place to stay. So for some of you, he's putting up with that shit. And I feel like that's what this ultimatum is all about. You are not the first and you won't be the last. Mm. So in other words, she's calling the divine masculine a cheater. And that's what the fuck she's used to. If you know what's good for you, you need to move on. Yeah, she is adamant about getting back with the Divine Masculine. And she's going to be trying everything in her power to reconcile with him. But like I said, that shit ain't working. You had the sun in the reverse. That's all about shit not working out. Your Divine Masculine refused that offer. What did I tell you? I'm unhappy. And then you have sad. Yeah, that bitch is miserable. I know he still wants you and it's pissing me off. I told you he's coming in with this proposal and she knows it. This bitch is spying on you, getting tarot readings. Yeah, she knows that the divine masculine wants you and she's trying everything in her power to stop it. You will not win this battle. What did I tell you? That's why this uh, prop card came out. She feels like she won. But like I said, that shit is going down the drain. Because the Divine Masculine is not happy. There was a karmic baby. For some of you, you know about it. And for others of you, you don't. And that could also be why the Divine Masculine is still in this connection. Due to a karmic baby. And that's why he's also scared to come forward, Divine Feminine. Because he knows that he betrayed you. But she also betrayed his ass because she trapped him with this baby. This bitch told him that she was on birth control when all along her ass was trying to get pregnant. He is blowing smoke up your ass. So she's wanting you to think that the Divine Masculine doesn't love you. But in actuality, she knows that he does. Because this card just said, I know he still wants you and it's pissing me off. I told you this bitch is bipolar. What did I tell you? I can't make this shit up. Break up. It's over with. And that's why her ass is sad. He walked away. You had the eight of cups. Whoa, you had a lot of cards that fell, y'all. Why can't he leave you alone? She knows he wants you. She knows it. All right, so these are the cards that fail. You destroyed my family. So for some of you, the Divine Masculine has kids with this karmic, and she feels like you destroyed her family with the Divine Masculine. She's trying to figure out why he can't leave you alone, but she knows that this is a twin flame connection. It's faded. I 
I cry all the time. I told you this bitch is miserable. Don't make me do something I will regret. Girl, this bitch is crazy. Y'all better watch your backs. Y'all better sage. Do your protection rituals, okay? Because this bitch has gone bananas. Addictions. Divine Masculine and the Karmic. They both have addictions. That's why your Divine Masculine was drawn to this Karmic. Because she fed into his addictions. What did I tell you guys? Constant arguing and fighting. Nothing but drama. I can't stand her ass. That's coming from the Divine Masculine. I can't make this shit up. Divorce. You just had breakup. We have a business together. Yeah, so that could also be why the Divine Masculine is still in this connection. Because they have a business together. And for some of you, he was married to this karmic. Okay, because you have divorce here. And they have a business together. They have assets together. And that's why it's taken him a long time to walk away from that connection for some of you. I know he doesn't want to be here. What did I tell you? He's ghosting her ass. He's not happy. For some of you, your divine masculine is sleeping in separate rooms if he's still living with this karmic. But for a lot of you, he's gone. Look at this, money problems. She's a broke bitch. She came off as having it all. And now that divine masculine is seeing her true colors, okay? I'm only here for my kids. That's coming from the divine masculine. I provide everything for him. Yeah, she goes above and beyond to try to make your divine masculine happy. And that shit is not working. He's only there for his kids for some of you. They have a business together. They're getting a divorce. And that's what the holdup is. He's not the only one who has options. What did I tell you? That's what this betrayal was all about. Okay? Because she was cheating on the divine masculine. You had the seven of swords that came out. He found out about that shit. And that's why the tower came down. For some of you, Divine Masculine could have caught an STD, which is how he found out. I've done spell work on you. Yeah, this bitch has been doing spell work on the Divine Feminines and the Divine Masculine. She was easier to deal with. She let me do whatever. This is coming from the Divine Masculine. Yeah, but he's over that situation. I feel him pulling away. Yeah, he don't want to be there. I keep him under a spell. I told you. This bitch is doing spell work. Drinking, drugging, threesomes. We party hard and he loves it. Yeah, but you also had the death card that came out. It's a wrap. He's making changes in his life. This is all about change and transformation. That's how she was able to get the Divine Masculine. Drinking, drugging, threesomes. But he's over that bullshit. I don't care what he told you. We are still fucking. Ooh. I feel like for some of you, if you're the right masculine, is still living with this karmic. They fuck every now and again. But he don't want that shit. The only reason why he fucking her is because he can't fuck you. I'm seeing things clearly now. That's coming from the divine masculine. I told you guys. He's awakening. My addictions made me cheat. Coming from the Divine Masculine. Yup. And she knew exactly how to get to him. She knew he liked drinking. She knew he liked drugs. She knew he liked to fuck. Yup. And that's how she was able to get you to Divine Masculine. That's some bullshit. Alright, let's get two or three more. She burned me. That's why we broke up. So this bitch gave him an STD. Okay? That's why this tower came down. She burnt his ass. Wow. Yep, that was the betrayal. And you saw that card that says she has options. He's not the only one who has options. Yeah, she gave the Divine Masculine an STD. And that was a wrap. I'm cleaning up my life. I can't make it up. That's coming from the Divine Masculine. 
and walking away. I can't make it up. He's gone, y'all. So that's what I have for you. That's the update on the Divine Masculine and this karmic. There's trouble in paradise and the volcano is erupting. Okay, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and lights always.